lot of things going on about Mercy Johnson and the former B. Mercy Johnson child good friend. It's even funny to me. Now, let me advise you as a woman being, as a person. Have an altar that no matter what happened, belong in that altar. Never you shift from that altar to any other altar. Or let that, that altar fail you. Now, anybody that you see that is popular, that have connection, that is rich, there must be an altar speaking for that person. If you are rich, people must talk. If you are poor, people must talk. You don't give a shot of what people say. Now she's saying, come to church and let them deliver you. How are you sure that that church that you want to bring her to, to do not even have an altar that is not your Christian altar? <laughs> See, I want to tell you one thing that you have to know in life. Do not allow Christianity to wash your brain to the extent that you don't know your left and your right. If you want to make it in life, so many people that you are jealous of, so many people that you want to be like, they have an altar that is speaking for them. It might be Christian, no? Maybe they are into Christian altar, but there must be an altar that is speaking for that person. When I talk about altar, be sure of the altar that you belong to, not the one of my daddy said, my prophet said, the Bible said, you are in the church, but you don't know the altar that you are calling. You don't know the foundation that you are, what they use in that foundation. Be very careful. Every successful woman being in life have an altar that they belong to, and they don't go out no matter what. You, you are suffering. You are here, my dad. In what if former said, be Mercy Johnson friend, allegedly, oh, eh, I'm not there. Let's just say that what you claimed is true. How are you sure that the altar that you are taking out is not worse than? You should be very careful on this social media and stop deceiving yourself.